Hello guys, today's video is about the wizard, and in particular the Archon build. What is the Archon build? Archon build is basically you turn yourself into being pure arcane energy, 15 seconds. It increases your armor and all resistances by 40%, so it makes you really tanky. And every enemy you kill adds an extra one second to the duration. So the more you know, just keep killing, and you keep the form up permanently, which is really, really good. Okay, so let's go through the basics of the build. Okay guys, uh, Shock Pulse Living Lightning, you use this when Archon is down, okay? Because um, you spam this and refresh all the cooldowns of all your spells every time it crits. And it spams like crazy. You know what I mean? You just spam this thing, it AoEs everything around it, it's got very, very high proc rate. And you get your arc on up very, very quickly. It's really good. Also very good for life leech as well, keeps you alive. Okay, on the right mouse one, I've got Archon. Improved Archon increases all damage of all Archon abilities by 25%. You must have this one on. Uh, I've got Energy Armor, Prismatic Armor. Uh, increases all, your all the resistance by 25% while our energy armor is active. Okay, absolute must. Uh, familiar spark flint, basically for the DPS boost, extra 12% on top, so it adds a load and loads of DPS to you. Uh, teleport wormhole, this is the multi teleport. You only use this really once Archon if it does go down, so you just get in a bad situation. You can just quickly teleport away from the mobs and just go bang, 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 you know what I mean? And start knocking that. And as you'll start critting, um, teleport refresh super fast and just let you be able to kite until you get Archon back up again. Okay, right. Um, so, yeah, teleport wormhole and of course, magic weapon force weapon increases the magic damage bonus by 50% and also gives you a 2% chance to knock back, which is quite nice with Archon as well. Okay, uh, for the passives, guys, we've got glass cannon increases all damage done by 15% but knocks out your armor resistance by 10. Doesn't really matter because we've got buffs here. And of course, Archon increases our resistance as armor anyway, so it's fine. So basically, you get a 15% free extra damage. Galvanizing Ward increases the duration of your armor spells by 120 seconds. As long as the armor spells, actually, you gain some life region as well on top. So, yeah, man, as long as we pop this on here, we're gaining, um, it gains another 120 seconds. So we can keep all our buffs up for a long time while we're in Archon form, okay? Just makes it a bit easier. And of course, Critical Mass. Critical uh, hits have a chance to reduce the cooldown of your spells by one second. Absolutely vital. It does not work without this, basically. It works really well. Okay, guys. So, what are you aiming for? You're aiming for at least 50 crit and as much crit damage as possible. At the moment, you know, my, my stats ain't great. Just get to about 500 all res or so, which ain't too hard to do. And uh, once you pop your buffs, like so, there you go. A little, in six, low 700s to 700s there. You pop your buffs, your DPS shoots through the roof straight away before you've even gone into Archon mode. So, you know, an armor at 4.3k armor is plenty, and lots of all res and all that. My hits are okay, I'm at 53k hit points, I want a bit more, and I want to get up to about 60, but this character's still working for I guess I just want to show you guys this build, it's really cool. Okay, guys, uh, weapon you want, um, you want a life steal weapon of some sort, it's up to you what you want to go for. This is my old Witch Doctor Blade, and it works out perfectly fine. I've got attack speed in this bad boy, critical damage, 2.9 life steal, and of course, an emerald. Always use an emerald, guys, if you're over 50 crits. For boot, I've opted for uh, ice climbers, because uh, I, was, I was getting bit owned too much when I was using uh, Zuni boots but if you've got really good gear you can switch to Zuni boots for the extra DPS but I quite like um, ice climbers because of the uh, massive all rares and extra life percent and I've opted for movement speed on this and I've stuck a Vital gem in as well cause just to boost my vitality up a little bit and uh, if you go ice climbers guys try to get vitality in there as well as the base roll uh, I'm using uh, Inner Temperance Legs with extra attack speed, minor crit, and high vitality, basically 195 vitality. You can just use Black Thorns if you want, guys, but I like the extra movement speed, you know what I mean, to keep keep, keep going, man. So I've capped my movement speed just in these two items here for efficient farming. I'm using an attack speed uh, critical chance health firing here. Uh, this is optional, guys. I only got this on, I've only got this on for uh, the extra uh, it's XP, basically. They're 35% extra EXP. But you could chuck any ring in you want it. A good Zuni Master ring in here would be great with a pair of Zuni boots to get that 150 until bonus, for instance. Okay, so it's up to you. Um, I'm using Trifactor gloves here. Intel, crit what damage, crit chance, usual sort of stuff. Uh, same for the shoulders as well. High Intel, Vit, all res, life percent and armor. You don't have to get life percent and armor in your shoulders, but. Um, you know, life set would be good. I was quite lucky with this roll. It's quite a nice pair of shoulders, actually. I'm using the crit mempo here with uh, 199 of 200 intelligence, all res, 9 attack speed, crit, life percent, ruby. Uh, if you have the survivor visuals, change the ruby to an amethyst for extra life percent. I've uh, opted for a tail rush chest plate here with high intel, high vitality, and uh, an armor roll. Um, 
I opted for armor because my all was okay with the buffs. If you if you've got if you've not got enough all race guys with the buffs on, with these buffs here, you can just switch the Tyrus chest to an all race Tyrus chest to fill that void. Uh, for the belt, uh, you want at least 115 tail of Vital Roll, Life Percent, as much attack speed and critical damage here. This one's okay, it's just a cheap one I picked up in the auction house. Um, using Tower Rush's necklace here, try to get one with at least 130 vit and at least 8 crit, in my opinion, to get a DPS up. Um, this one's actually got a little bit of life on hit, which is quite nice, which helps with survivability, which is pretty good. Uh, crafted braces are always, guys, you would always want um, quite good uh, intelligence. Vit, always get an uh, all-res roll and crit in there. Some Lacuna braces can work as well, it depends on your rest of your gear setup. And uh, a critical hit damage unity, obviously with intelligence, works really well. Nothing I like about unity as well, actually, it's got some life on hit, which works quite well. You know, it keep you up. And of course, uh, Chantos Force, guys. When you get one of these, try to get one with at least 450 average damage, with at least, in my opinion, 9% um, APOC. Critical hits grant arcane power, which help you out a lot. Okay, so let's uh, show you this in action, guys. I've just got a little crypt in there. This build is great for crypts as well. It's really, really good. So before you go into Archon mode, guys, make sure your buffs are up, okay? So we've got NG armor up. So get our buffs up, we've got the familiar here, that little dude gives us so much damage, and uh, of course force weapon. So now we're all ready to go. Yeah, we're all ready to go now. So go to the crypt. Just pop arc on and just melt everything. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh hello, we a bit stuck there. There we go. It's a little bit stuck. As you see guys, it yeah. It's great for crypts. It really is good for crypts. So right mouse, mouse button is disintegration way, 3% weapon damage. Arcane Strike is just a melee thing, but it actually knocks back really well. It knocks back really well because of the familiar thing, yeah? And also you get Arcane Blast. It's basically a big AoE, instant AoE. Um, this will refresh really quickly because of your arcane, oh, arcane power and crit. As you see now, guys, look. My Archon is down, and I'm like, holy shit, sort of thing, you know what I mean? So now you just spend Living Lightning and watch the refresh. On um, on Archon form, as you see, look, it's refreshed pretty much. Look, it's refreshed straight away. And also, if you get into a bad situation, you can just teleport away with Wormhole. It's really, really cool. Okay, so we're back in Archon mode now. And as long as you're killing mobs in Archon, it refreshes the buff. Yeah, it's 15 seconds. And as you see, look, you just see Archon just refresh itself. Use this, guys. Use this um, this build, guys, to. Uh, just smash out your Paragon levels in Crypts, it's really, really good, it's super efficient, it's quite fun as well, man, I really enjoy this build, it's cool, man. The mobs are getting too close, just remember to cycle that AoE, just cycle that AoE, and it'd be fine. It's so effective, man, let me show you that melee attack as well, the melee attack is really, really good. Let me go to some other here, for instance, like, as you see, look, like, it's just a massive melee AoE, and it just Chain slurp, just knock back, knock back, knock back, look, see that shit? Because of a uh, familiar, it's got the knock back as well. It's really, really sweet, man. But just make sure, you know, if you see your buffs running out, just cancel Archon form and, you know, just rebuff and re go back in Archon form again. It's refreshes the cooldown. This is MP9, my, my gear's okay for MP9 at the moment. It all depends about your DPS, you know what I mean? I'm on, I'm on 334k DPS. If you can get a 400k buff, then just switch it to MP10. And you get even more EXP. But with my gear at my current level, you know what I mean? Um, it's it's fine, man. A cheeky ring there, whatever. Very nice. Just keep going down there. But it's, it's a great build, man. And remember, guys, use this build while you can, because in Reaper Souls, you can't do this anymore. It's, um, critical mass is being nerfed, unfortunately. It's a critical mess nerf, so use it while you can, guys, before Reaper Soul comes out. It's fun, though, you know what I mean? It's safe to try as well, man. It's just, it's just I know this has uh, been covered before, but uh, quite a few people on my stream were. Uh... Oh, Tony, could you do a video on YouTube about uh, Archon? Oh, like, yeah, man, sure, why not? Why bloody not? So here it is, guys. Big thank you to uh, Clever Nick as well, guys, who uh, pointed me in the direction of this build. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy. And, uh, yeah, it's a great build, man. Well, I'll just hit some elites here with Nightmarish, which is bloody annoying. We hate Nightmarish. And just usual for all suppliers, guys. Just kite nuke, kite nuke. Alright, oh, 
Right, okay, so it's run out now. So now we need to teleport the hell out of there. Just use Living Lightning. Living Lightning procs your uh, life on hit really well. Until Archon is back up. But yeah, just keep away from bad guys using your teleport. And you'll be fine. Archon's almost back up now. Yeah, guys, go down and finish off this fella. Where is he? He's done a run. Okay, so Archon's back up now, let's just cook everything. I love this Archon thing, it's awesome. It's so cool. Right, I'm using my melee attack now, look. Ah, that melee attack does some nice damage, man. Obviously not as good as the beam, but it's, uh, it's still very, very, very effective. Probably best to fight elites, really, with loads of mobs around you, actually, so you can kill the mobs and keep cool down on, you know, keep cool down on, on the good, uh, on the good bounce. So I've killed a few mobs here just to get my cool down back on Archon. Oh, he's almost down now. There you go, he's dead. Lovely. It's a really good build, guys. Try it out, man. It's really, really good. And it certainly is very effective in the crypts. Look at that. It's just hosting shit. It's nice, man. What do you think? I know. Like I said, guys, I know this has been covered before, but a lot of people have been asking about this build, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd chuck it out there. Also, it goes through walls as well, which is pretty sweet, isn't that? Bang. <laughs> and there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you wizards out there start smash out your paragons and you're ready for Reaper Souls. Just usual, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.